you don't know about me but I'm feeling blue ooh, ooh. I'm joking I am not feeling blue I just thought to try something different hope you like it because I do <laughs> channel i'm so excited for tonight the place that we're going to eat at is called manjaro's and it is based on a fusion of african cuisine and caribbean delight so i'm expecting some spicy food i'm expecting some well marinated chicken i'm expecting some type of plantain rice everything that has to do with African and Caribbean right so I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this restaurant I first heard about this restaurant on radio and I've always wanted to go try it I have had few people that have been there and would recommend it so I thought why not give it a try you know got nothing to lose and as always I would give my honest opinion about the food, the environment, the atmosphere, the price. The price is the most important, I feel. Um, I'm meeting up with my girls as always to just go and have a little girly time. This restaurant is on Burley Road, so it's not far from where I am at the moment and it's not really far from the city centre either um, it's close to, well it's kind of close to Kirkstall I thought originally, I thought it was that Kirkstall but it's not, it's on Burley Road so it's close to Hyde Park, it's close to a lot of places so if you're around the area after you've heard my review then you can go give it a try um, and that is it so let's just go try a bit of Africa, a bit of Caribbean, and just see if it actually has um, fusion of these continent food. So I will be the judge of that. And of course, you will then have a choice to whether to go or not. So let's go eat. Thank you. 
person who's eating it as well. A big word's mine. <laughs> She literally finished all the sauce. Look at how big this plate is. That is a lot of food, actually, to be honest. And look at my plate. Like, compare your plate to my plate, it looks like I'm just having nothing. <laughs> review I thought to try something different and um, invite the girls to share their opinion about um, Manjaro's because they seem to like I've got Lydia here and I've got Adiri here so we're just gonna jump straight at it um, we didn't reserve a table for this one we just went in there it's a walkthrough place yeah so you can walk in anytime you yeah want. so if we you, if there's a bit more numbers so if you've got like a good big group of you, make sure you call at least ahead because then they can arrange something for you. Yeah, but because it was just the three of us, we didn't really need to book a table. And But when we got there, they were really busy. So we waited for 15 minutes. But it didn't really feel like 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, they were really quick. <coughs> yes, they were actually. Yeah, so we got straight, we got given a table and we sat like in front of the chefs. Yes. Which I like because I quite like to see what they're doing, how clean they are, what when they're cooking. It's an open kitchen. It was an open kitchen, so I could see everything, and you know the. And everything was. Looking everything good. was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I always, I'm, I'm, I'm a regular customer. The the guys are just gorgeous. Like. They're gorgeous. Right? The guys are gorgeous. I know, I literally had to swap seats to get a new view. <laughs> and I gave it to her because I've already been there before. Oh, so she, she's seen, seen it before, so she thought, yeah, like, why not? Why don't you swap places? It was a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we then got, oh, this is the amazing thing. Because they don't serve alcohol, you can bring your own alcoholic beverage. So we passed by Tesco's to get a bit of cider, <laughs> Copperberg. I got um, I got Copperberg, the new spin off cider. Try it's really good. Yeah. And also we got Ricoglyac as well, which is yeah, really nice. Which is really nice. So we had um, cider to go with our food. Um, I ordered for the starters. I ordered a uh, lamb chops, and it was marinated with the manjaro, the manjaro sauce. sauce, which was incredible and like it was oh. so nice is there like key sauce like you know like how nando's got here but it's so much better yeah it's actually so much actually like mention nando's it is kind of a similar si similar it's a setting. company ah it's right the company so it's a kind of similar setting with nando's but i think this one Sweeter. is like a little bit higher than mm. Nando's, what do you think? Um, she thinks it's a little bit, I think it's way <laughs> up there. I think it's better um, than Nando's. So it's a Nando's fan. Yeah. Because I go to Nando's all the time, but <laughs> this has just tipped to change. Yeah, yeah. It goes, it's better as well because of the price, because it's less, oh, it's cheaper than Nando's. Yeah, it's really it's cheap. Is. Way cheaper it's, than Nando's. It's reasonable and price. got varieties as well. Yeah, and they're bigger portions. Mm. <gasps> oh, you should see. See, Lydia's chicken. The Lydia's I chicken. I my breath. Wait, I was just like, <gasps> and I only have three oh. weeks as well, people. Don't judge me by my weight. <laughs> <laughs> what did you order for yourself? Um, I had the um, the king prawn. Um, it's a king prawn sauce. So just three, it says three cream prawns on the menu, but actually it comes with this amazing sauce with it with rice. and rice. I didn't expect that, so that made me a little bit full before my main course came, but. Oh, it was delicious. The sauce was just, and it was, it's not manjaro sauce, it was just a creamy Different sauce. 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 Creamy sauce they made with the prawns, it was just gorgeous. So what did you have? Uh, mine was the chicken wings. It was four plates. Um, it was chicken wings with the Salad. manjaro sauce. sauce as well. And but then it with, came with a little. Yeah, it came with like a side salad. And it was really good. It was really nice. That I was impressed. I tried, I tried the three, like, 
or everybody else mm. would and I really did like your starters like it yeah, was really the nice the sauce was just the sauce was really nice mm. and it if I go the next time obviously it wouldn't be the next video but personal time I would definitely order your starter mm. um and it, yeah therefore the service wise we had the most friendliest waitress and she was just so lovely and really happy and just mm, nice very very nice approachable and she just kept on coming to ask us if we were okay mm. and if everything was nice. and not just her as well all the other stuff everybody else as well, as well. Like, yeah i think she was exceptional yeah but she I, was exceptional yeah. yeah but they were on it like they, they were all always on it. on it whenever i'm there anyway but was on it this lady that we had, she was really nice. We we all liked her. Um, I think, you know, it's nice to see people actually enjoying what they do. do yeah. Especially when it you know comes to like hospitality and food and mm. serving custom and stuff, custom service. But so that's there. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up for that because we were gonna give her a ten over ten, but it's not possible to. <laughs> I give it a 10 out of 10. I work in She's, customer service. We, we just thought there's, out there's always room for improvement. No, I give it a 10. So, so, so she gets a half, nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so the she half will be like the next time. <laughs> but, you know, if if it was if we were to rate individual, um like, waiter mm. or waitress, I would definitely recommend her. her. Yeah, definitely. So the main cause, I had the cream Caribbean lamb yeah actually yeah because it comes with either chicken or lamb so i had the cream caribbean lamb and that is also marinated with um uh, jamaican sauce served with pilau rice pilau pilau yeah, pilau 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 rice. rice that's how you say it <laughs> since you already know that i'm not really good at pronouncing things um <laughs> it reminds me of the big no situation <laughs> What? The bag in your situation. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. When we were in for this French restaurant, I had to literally practice the name. I had to say, <laughs> beef bag in your, beef bag in your own like, I was like, what? I asked the waiter to like, pr like, just say it out loud like a hundred times before I got it and I still couldn't pronounce it. But yeah, so that's what I had and I just loved the presentation of it. Um, So the, the plate, our plates anywhere, me and Lydia's plates were really huge and they had the little rice there and then they had the sauce and the lump in the middle and then they have the pita bread yeah. on the side and I just, I really did like the presentation, I mean it tasted nice as well but I just liked the way it looked, mm. it looked presentable, it looked like you know, it just craved it looks like they put elegant, effort into yeah, it. Effort there's more effort, effort into yeah, it as well, yeah. what did you have? I had the chicken wings share platter and please do not order that when you go there. 16 chicken wings with <laughs> and a huge portion of chips. No, but like imagine when you go to Nando's <laughs> and you order chicken wings, they're very small and tiny and yes. it's not a lot. But this one came and it was like a big bowl of literally about the same price as well. I know and it was a tenner for it with a huge portion of chips with some salad on the side. I only had three pieces and I'm going to take the rest home to eat it. <laughs> For the next two days. For the next two days. <laughs> like like a, a lunch. square meal. <laughs> three square it could have fed four people. people easily. Like easy. easy. It, it looked that heavy. Like when I looked at it, I felt full. <laughs> yeah, I, I just said that her eyes is bigger than her stomach because you know when you look at something, you're like, oh, I can eat this, but then you're like, nah, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. not gonna go down. Clearly, that that's what happened to me. Cause <laughs> I was so confident I was gonna finish mine, and then when I got the big plate of um, it was the rasterized rasterized you can have that with chicken as yes, well, well but yeah. the king yes. prawns but the king so prawn huge. was amazing it was so soft yeah. I, I literally have to close my eyes to come and imagine it. like remember <laughs> like the taste of it while she was swallowing <laughs> it down it was, it was so, so nice so soft. and the rice was creamy mm, we, i'm yeah. not sure what i don't know how they cook it probably they, they, with the secret or something the sauce as well yeah but it was, it was it was really good. Mm. I was so com I was almost gonna, you know, make a bet that I was gonna finish the food because it looked so good. And but I know that there <laughs> I was didn't no even have way to, she was gonna, that she was gonna finish that food because it was so it was, it was just too much. much. Mm. It 
it's just like two like that book would feed two of us. And the best thing is you get to take away your food. <laughs> <laughs> so the pleasure doesn't stop there. <laughs> I feel like we're advertising this company. No, but honestly, this is by far your favorite it restaurant is, i swear it's, by it's in my top three it's top in my top three, three yes. i i would say like it's neck and neck with viva cuba because yeah. i really did really I, I, like my viva favorite cuba. place was always the italian place the um, you know don't ask me to pronounce it go back and look <laughs> totally at the video. swear by this <laughs> although we were so full i i could not leave without trying the dessert so i had the cheesecake by it was Ferrero Rocher cheesecake. Oh Lord Jesus, <laughs> with like cream on the sides and my favorite chocolate. By the way, you know, I ordered a half waffle, the Bonofi waffle that comes with I think salted caramel and banana on with top. banana on top, and there's cream on the side with a vanilla ice cream to accompany mm, it. That ice cream. Nice. I would definitely recommend. Manjaro's to anyone mm. if you happen to be around Berlin Road, it's it's just, it's just the scary. best place to and go. Yeah, if if you're overfed and you feel like you can't even move, there's just the rooms with the hotel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> next door <laughs> rooms <laughs> hotel. Next door, you know. You can go like go that and then pass out and then, pass out, out. And then come back again and, and then, then continue. continue. <laughs> <laughs> but I have really, 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 really enjoyed this restaurant and I have no faults to it. Like, I couldn't find anything to minus them on. Um, I think it was just great. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. This is my review for Manjaro's. And as always... Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment, and I will see you in my next video. Actually, my next video will be in Ghana. Um, I'm, I'm going to be in Ghana for two weeks, so I'm going to try to do it like a restaurant review there. Chop to just review. give you a bit of, a taste of Ghana. Chop bar. Yes. So, <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. But I will see you in that next video. Ciao. Bye. Bye.